Greetings and thank you so much for another opportunity to come your way and spend this time with you in the Word of God and take a few moments to pray. This week we are talking about overcoming destiny destroyers and we're looking at the people of Israel in the Old Testament and what kept some of them, a large number of them, out of the land of promise, which God had intended for them to have. And to examine these destiny destroyers and how to overcome them, we will be looking at the New Testament passage in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, uh, verses 1 through 12. But uh, we're going to just pick up a few verses each day and talk about the specific things that the Apostle Paul writes um, as things that kept the people of Israel out of the land of promise. So today we're going to read 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verses 5 and 6. The Apostle Paul writes, he says, But with most of them God was not well pleased, for their bodies were scattered in the wilderness, now these things became our examples to the intent that we should not lust after evil things as they also lusted. So in this passage in 1 Corinthians 10, the Apostle Paul, by inspiration of the Holy Spirit, is looking back at what happened to the people of Israel. And then he's pointing to them as an example for us New Testament believers. And he's telling us that, look, these are the things that kept them away from the land of promise. And we must learn from their example and make sure that doesn't happen to us. The first destiny destroyer that the Apostle Paul points to, which we must overcome, is he says they, that we should not lust after evil things as they also lusted. So this is the first destiny destroyer, lusting after evil things. The word lust simply refers to an intense craving or a desire for evil things, for things that are not good, things that distract us from what God wants for us. So in the journey of the people of Israel, for example, we, would, we could see many different things that distracted them. But for example, as they were journeying, you know, they desired, they were lusting for the things that were from the land of Egypt, you know, things that had to do with food. And they were saying, you know, what about the onions and the garlics and things like that? And um, they were journeying through the wilderness. God was taking good care of them. He was giving them manna and quail and water and he was protecting them at day and night. And he was taking care of them as they journeyed through. It was just about a, you know, a, a year's journey and they would be uh, where they had to be, but they could not even handle that. And they began to crave for the things that they used to have. And that desire is what the Apostle Paul is warning us about. These cravings for things that are not good for our lives, for our journey into the destiny of God. So lusting after evil things, having intense desires for things that are not necessary, not important for our lives. We need to guard against that and overcome those things because the desire, the intense craving for evil things can keep us out of our destiny. Let's pray concerning this matter today. Father, we ask that you will help us overcome this destiny destroyer, lusting after evil things. That you'll help us guard against it. You'll help us overcome it. So that God, we can get into the things you have prepared for our lives. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.